Love Wings Ministry Studios coming at you live. Pastors at the table. Take one. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> God this, is good. On this wonderful Saturday. Yes, he is. Yes. He's good all the time. The sun is out. Amen is, uh, what is it, 77 degrees out here yes. in Port St. Lucie and Fort Pierce. We're in between. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but we thank God that we could come to you live today in our new program, which we're going to call now Pastors <laughs> at the Table. Amen, and that's what we want to do is just Amen. share, and for some reason, it stopped again on me. I don't know why it does this. Amen. Amen. We're on live, but... But God is good. Amen. I'm just going to open up in prayer while we take care of the technical uh, yes. problems over there. Um, <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just thank you today, oh Father. Yes, Lord, as Lord. we come on the air, oh Lord. Father God, just yes, anoint our minds, our hearts, our spirits, oh Father God, yes, to bring Lord. forth... Um, your word today, oh Father yes, God, your God. message, oh God, Lord, use us, oh Father God, for your glory, oh Lord. And today, again, I just pray for all those that are tuning in, oh Father yes, God, Lord. Lord, just bless them, oh Father God, during this holiday season, oh Father God. Yes, Lord, Father. give them peace, oh Father God, comfort yes, and direction, Lord. oh Father God. But most of all, let us remember what it is all about, which is about you, oh God. Yes, and Father. we thank you today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is so good. Amen. And it seems like when I put it big, it stops for a second. Amen. So let me go back to it small until it gets into that place. Amen. Amen. God All right. Good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's another Saturday. Amen. And we're coming into Christmas soon. Yes. Amen. Yes. And Just a couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah and <laughs> as we know that uh, we we celebrate Christ's birth as it's been uh, done and then we 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 believe in and and trust in God and everything that he does but most of all it is a great honor right always to be in the house of God amen yeah, and yes. and here at Love Wings Men Studios uh, we just enjoy uh God's love and God's promises he said man if we put him first as Jesus said let us first seek the kingdom of God he will bless our home. Amen. He will bless our church. Amen. amen. And the church of God, according to what God has called us to do, amen, is called what? A God house of blessings. This house is a house of blessing. And we amen. hope that all the things that we've been doing this past year, as we're coming into a new year in a couple of weeks, amen. amen. And we thank the Lord, right, that we amen. could continue uh, to be here and, and share the gospel, which is the love of God, and from his house. Amen. Because this house belongs to him. We're just uh, the superintendents. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care Amen. of the house. Amen. And I was, you know, just praying, Natasha, the other <laughs> night. As you know, I would spend a lot of time in the, in the house of God. And, and it just releases us, and it releases me, rather. Uh, and, and I'm pretty sure you guys, too, that when we come into the house of God and we uh, come together and also too when you just come to the house of God there's an, exactly. uh, an anointing there you know because it's God's house and and Amen. and we have the altar and we can just you know just just feel free amen and receive the peace and the love that God has and because of that I was thinking and I and I was doing a study and I said man uh, uh, it just remind me and of you know God's house is a house of blessings. Amen. And that's going to be my message for the next couple of Sundays. Because I want to talk about as we're coming into the new year. How blessed we already are. But how important it is that we never forsake the assembling of ourselves, of ourselves in yeah. God's house. Amen. Amen. And you know what? It is so important that we continue to remind you. As we renew our mind daily. To remind ourselves that as we gather together. To seek the Lord's face. To ask him to pour out his spirit upon this house. Amen. As me and Natasha are always praying for everything that we do in Love Wings Ministry Studios. As I know that many churches out there the same thing. And many ministries. Amen. That God has called. Uh, and we know the, the importance of staying consistent. Exactly. And staying on track. As the Bible says, putting God first. And what I mean by that is, man... That the first priority that we should have in our lives and our faithfulness, because God is faithful, 
It's for us to, Amen. to keep doing what God has called us to do, not forsaking the assembling ourselves and coming into a house where we can come and receive the word, be able to pray for one another, be able to uh, manifest uh, 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 the word of God in our lives, but also uh, be there for one another. Because I, I keep saying, well, we keep saying, how does God work? Through, through people, people. Through people. Amen. Amen. That's you, my sister, and my brother. Right? And, by, and, by, and, and, and by us coming together and coming yes. to, to, to the house of the Lord, we're able to, you know, to, to uplift each other, be able to, you know, encourage mm -hmm. each other. And, and you know what? And, and, mm -hmm. I, and I remember as, as, um, as a child um, going to church and stuff like that. And, and, yes. and if there was ever a Sunday that, that we didn't go, <laughs> it was like... For me personally, because I was already, um, you know, accustomed, to, you know, to to to, to go into church, right. and go, you know, to Sunday school and and all that, you know, so so I grew up with that, right? You right. know, so 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 I remember, you know, being 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 young, and when and at one point, um, we didn't have a car, um, and, and we and we lived in 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 uh, in, um, in uh, Brooklyn. Wow. Mm -hmm. But we were like on the other side of, of Brooklyn, so we, you know, we had to, you know, to, to drive and we didn't have a car or whatever. So there was, you know, a couple of you know, where we didn't go to church. And, 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 and I remember being, you know, feeling, you know, like, you know, like there was something missing. missing. Yeah. Exactly. Even as a, as, as a young, you know, child, because, uh, yes. again, you grow up with that and, and know that, you know, when you come to the house of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, you're, 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 you're surrounded with your loved ones, you know, and, and you know, you we, back then, you know, we go to Sunday school, so you had yes, your friends yes, and stuff like you know, yes. and, and and you were learning yes. about you know God. So, so you know, it's important to you know to come together. Yes. And also, if you're going through something, yes. how, how are we going to know to what what to pray for or, or to pray for you? Um, Amen. If, if 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 we don't know that this that there's something you know going on, so uh, again, coming mm -hmm. together, hey sister, you know when when you you know meet up, you know, hey, you know, I'm going through this, you know, pray for me or little, you know, and we're able to uplift each. Yes. Each other and yes. be able to pray for each other but again we, we don't know that if you stay in your corner you stay at home you know you're going through something but you stay at home yeah. no come out you know and be amongst you know fellow you know um, sisters and brothers that yes. you know where, where we can uplift each other and yes. encourage Victoria. each other and, yes. en and encourage each other in you know in 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 every aspect of our lives yes now, let yeah. me get a piece of tissue. <clears throat> my glasses are a little foggy. Amen. Yeah. And that's the truth. That's why the Bible said, for me and my family, we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. And what does that mean? Uh, good, going together. Like we're here today. Amen. No matter what, we've learned uh, to put God first. Because the Bible not only tells us that, but He instructs us. That's one of the commandments. Never forsake the assembling of ourselves. And I love God so much because why did God put that in? So we could be there for one another. Amen. Again, how does God work is through people and being faithful. And God is faithful. We got to remember that we got to be faithful mm -hmm. to the promises and what God has commanded. No matter what we do, amen, am I right or wrong? We've right. learned and we want to be an example to you, <clears throat> my sisters and my brothers out there, that we stay consistent no matter what. Amen. Because see, our priority should always be, as Jesus said, Amen. first put God. That's yes. it. Put God. Let it be the center of everything that you do in life. And Amen. what happens is then you will see the manifestation of the power and of the love of God. Even, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it delights God. Amen. Because yes. God said, if you keep my word, I'm in you. And I want God to, man, I want to keep his word. And like you said, you, I feel uncomfortable if I don't do this. Yeah. Amen. We have to do many things today. And like everybody else out there. Amen. But you see, God has given us a task. And we put our priorities first. Which is God. That's why we're sitting here first. Then we go do what we got to do. Amen. Because first we said we're going to honor God. Because again we want our house to be blessed. Amen. Amen. We want uh, not just to, to the word to linger in here. We want the word to become alive. Amen. In us and be able to share with us. What I'm saying by that. That if we go back in the book of Isaiah. And you read that the Lord said that his house should be called what? Number one. Or what? A house, a house of, of prayer. prayer. Amen. A prayer. What is prayer to me? And I'm always sharing with those. Amen. Is it a communication, talking to God and, and, and listening and getting a response from God because you start becoming more intimate and you Amen. start having a, a more uh, deeper well, relationship with yeah. God. Yeah. Amen. Can you read me Isaiah 56 verse 7? And it talks Amen. about these things that, you know what? Uh, that as we talk to God, then God can come down yes. and His presence ushers 
into the house and blesses us. Amen. Amen, yes. Mm. And the word of the Lord read, 56, 7. These I will bring to my holy mountain and give them joy in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar for my house. Mm. It will be called a house of prayer for all nations. For all nations. nations. Again, all these I have bring... All these I will what bring to my what holy mountain. I'm reading out of the Amplified Bible and make them joyful in the house of prayer. Their burnt offering and their sacrifice will be what accepted. Amen. Amen. And 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 on my altar. Amen. For my house will be called a house of prayer. Amen. Amen. For what? For all people. As you said, all nations, all people. And basically, what that really is all coming down to the layman's term is, so I will bring them to my holy mountain. Amen. And make them happy in my house. Of what? Of prayer. prayer. The offerings and their sacrifice they give me will please me. Amen. Because my temple will be called the house of prayer for all nations. Amen. Amen. Man, I started reading that and I started thinking, man, how powerful that is. And this is why I'm always saying, Natasha, as we always say here, is that just stay consistent, man. Stay plugged in, man. Don't, I, I, I don't know how else to explain it, but uh, that even though we share it all the time about relationships and we talk about that a lot about relationships because I'm always, uh, God has put in my heart that it's life is all about relationships, exactly. how we interact with each other, and most of all, how we interact with each uh, with with God. And if we have that relationship with God, and God is that song that 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 I'm uh, we're going to be singing soon. It says the goodness of God, Amen. The goodness of God, and that's what we want. We want the goodness of God, but we want the blessings of God to be in our homes. And especially in the house of God, because this is a house that should be called a house of prayer. And that's why we always do what? Before we start even the service, we always pray and have that dialogue. You see, now we're opening up that those channels to receive uh, the holy mountain, so to speak, as the word says, that we start getting the presence of God. And, And God comes to when God comes, what does he always come to simply? To bless. Amen. Amen. And and I want him to be pleased with everything that we do. And and, and, when, and when we open up and pray, yes. we, we're ushering his presence. Yes. You know, we're putting all, you know, things aside. Or yes. We should be putting all things aside. And um and, and, and just, you know, open up and, and, and so so that way we can hear from him as well. Um, because we have in that, you know, again that, that dialogue, that communication. Yes. But uh, but yes, we, we just open up, we usher in his presence. Yes. We reverence yes. him. That sweet aroma. You know, we, oh. we reverence him Babe. You know, by, by, by prayer. Yes, as we do. <laughs> Amen. And we'll tell you, man. And things happen also when you yes. when you pray because you could be you yes. can come into into you know and into <laughs> church, you know, something happened, you the you know, the car's not working right or, or, or whatever, You're you know, frustrated. Like, like right before you come in the door, but as you come that's the enemy. The door. Exactly, and and, and, and the enemy and the enemy will try to to to, yes. to put all these obstacles and, and all these things right before you have to come to church, yes. or, or, or before you have to do, you know do do something for the Lord, and um and and then your mind is all you know at at, at a at, at a disarray, and yes. uh, so but yes. when you come in into His house, into His presence, yes, um, and you just start ushering His presence, just speaking to. You know, things change. Like your oh, your hallelujah. your attitude changes, your yes. mood changes. Yes. And next thing you know, you know, you you you're worshiping God. You oh, know, yes, you, those Lord. things are still, you know, may <laughs> still be there. But you know, but but you're able to to, to just bathe yes. bask in, in the his beauty presence of his holiness. And in his presence. Oh Lord. You know, which which is something, you know, beautiful, you know, because that uh, uh, Again, God wants us to have that relationship with Him. Yes. And yes. And, and you know what? When, when when we come in and when we acknowledge Him, when oh. we reverence Him, you know things change. Yes. Our mind shifts. There's a, there's yes. a, there's a, there's there is there's a, a shift. Yes. Exactly. Yes. There's a, a shifting word. in your mind. Yes. In your mindset. 
and um, and then God can can speak. God can you know do what he what he does. <laughs> but again, we Amen. have to we have to be in the place where we can receive yes. what he has. Because if we come in and we and we still bringing in that with us, we're carrying that luggage <laughs> you know in into yes. church. You know he's he how 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 are you gonna hear from him? That's or right. How are you gonna you know commune with him? Yes. You know, so so again, you know, leave all that aside and, and just come in and, and reverence him, and um and usher in his presence, and 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 he will do the rest. That's that's so true, and you know, and and you know, and it's a blessing. I, I can say that because the house of God is a blessing, man, and we should, man, not not forsake it. We should run the church, amen, or you know, wherever you fellowship with your brothers and sisters, and be there for one another because God has. You know, he's not asking us, he's telling us, and it's for our own good, amen, to receive the word, to learn the word, to pray for one another, exactly. and then God moves. And also, too, God wants to know what's more important in your life, period. Amen. That's what it comes. I was sharing before putting our priorities in order, amen. You know, our goals in life, even as we're coming into a new year, maybe you fail in some area, and the most important area that we got to remember to always put first is what? Seek first the righteousness, the kingdom, yep. the kingdom of God. Don't forsake mm -hmm. coming to the house of God mm -hmm. and as God has called us so we can learn and, and have that 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 relationship yes. that God wants us to have with Him. Amen. It says also uh, Jesus referred uh, referring to what? The truth in the New Testament. He was talking about that and we find that that you know all of the business you know, uh, 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 concerning what, uh, at, at the church, uh, house, none touches even the hem of his garment of prayer. Amen. Why you say that, Pastor Benny? Because God's house must be known as a place of prayer mm -hmm. and, his, and his people as a people of prayer. Amen. Yes. God honors praying people. Amen. And because a praying people honors God, keep praying, uh, uh, praying at his, his is what the center of all you do. What does that mean? Okay. Having a conversation constantly, amen, with the Lord as we pray. I mean, I think, you know, people think a lot of times we, uh, Take prayer as we just come and kneel before the Lord and we pray at night or before we go to bed. No, prayer is a, to me, is a dialogue. It's a constant exactly. communication with God. Uh, to me, I make it that simple. Amen. I see Amita there. Amen. At work. God bless you, Amita. Amen. Uh, what I'm saying by that, that our thoughts, when I, when we're going to do something, what do we first do? We stop, we think, and we pray about what we're going to do. Or if a circumstances arises in our marriage or our family or in the ministry, what do we do? We pray about it. Amen. When when things happen and, and, and things let us down, what we do? We stop, we pray, and we recognize that it's the enemies trying to inter, interrupt our relationship yeah, with God or our prayer or our constant conscience of thinking in our minds that uh, we put God first because w what we do, amen, we remember what we studied that Sunday. We remember that we go into the house of God to pray and to worship Him. Amen. And amen. and also, as we're there, man, we get filled with peace and joy. Amen. Right? When we come into amen. that realm. Uh, this is my way of interpretation of that. And, and I'm telling you that the house of prayer is a constant thing. And God honors those who keep praying and is the center of all that we do. Amen. amen. So it's important that we continue to to have that channel with God. Amen. Yes. And we know that in Matthew chapter 21 verse 13 says, this is why we got to remember that the house of God, we got to keep it pure. We got to come in there with a sincere heart and know because we've learned from 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 the scriptures. Amen. amen. amen that uh, how can uh, even that can be translated into something negative? Amen. What I mean by that that uh just read the word for me. Amen. Matthew chapter 21 verse 13 says. And it reads, It is written, he said to them, My house will be called a house of prayer. Yes. But you are making it a den of robbers. Amen. Again, Jesus said that, right? That it shall be, uh, that in called. the scriptures, 
It says, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it into a den, into a den, uh, I mean a robber den. Amen. I hope I said that right, but I want to just explain that. <laughs> what Jesus is saying to them is that the scriptures say that my temple will be called a house of prayer. Amen. Amen. But you have changed it into a hidden place of thieves. Amen, somebody. <laughs> Why am I saying that scripture? Because, you know, today we got to recognize that how important the house of God is and the things that we do in the house of God and what is our what is our heart towards the things Amen, yes. in the house of God. Amen. Even as Solomon prayed, he asked the Lord to hear the supplications of God's people and he wanted the Lord's house to be a place where one can bring their cares and lead them there before the Lord. Amen. We know that, right? But I remind you that that the church is still the best place to bring our burdens while there are while there is a God in heaven who cares for you and me. Amen. So we got to be careful even the things that we do in the house of God and the why and examine ourselves why am I going to the house of God? Is it to uh, uh, to glorify God or is it to my, uh, glorify me me myself and I spirit yeah. and that's what God is saying because God sees everything amen and and God wants us to come with a pure heart so we can receive that holy mountain to come to us amen yeah. I'm simple mm -hmm. and I remind myself that man that I gotta like what, what do we say before we come into these doors we leave everything outside, Amen. even in our relationship. I'll tell you, Amen. Uh, you know, uh, me and my wife, maybe my, like any any couple, amen, sometimes we don't agree in things. And maybe that same day, and the enemy will try to use that and then to keep us even from coming to the house of God to receive our blessing. Amen. And blessing God. And then we realize, no, it's not about us, it's about Him because He's the center of our, our marriage. He's the center in our hearts and our relationship with Him. What I'm trying to say by this, and I hope you get what I'm saying, that we leave everything outside those doors. We don't bring it into the house of God. And, and she's, oh, Pastor Benny, and I'm mean, with respect and integrity because it's God's integrity and God's truth. That, and then what happens as we're there and we're ministering or even uh, doing what God has called us and, 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 and praying and, 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 and worshiping God, you know what comes? Peace comes, right? Joy comes, deliverance comes, and we come in back into our senses and realize that what's more important, amen. And then, see, the enemy has no room to keep that going. So when we leave, Amen. We leave in peace, right? We leave in joy. Amen. And we even forgot and we laugh about even that <laughs> circumstances that we had before we entered the house of God. That's why I love the house of God. Amen. I hope I explained that good. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's why the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it says what? Cast all your cares and all your anxieties and all your worries and all your uh, concerns once for all on Him. Amen. And He cares about you oh, yeah. with a deep affection and watches over you very carefully. Oh, hallelujah. That's in the Amplify. In other words, what that saying is, give simply, what, Natasha? All your worries to him Ten. because he cares about you, my so sister and us. my brother. Mm -hmm. That's the blessings yeah. I'm talking about. The house of God. Man, I got so much. I can't wait to share it on Sunday. <laughs> Amen. And I hope I'm giving you a little taste of what God has given me. And the studies I've been given, because also in the house of the Lord, there is there are people of God who are willing, or who will, I'm sorry, who will get under the Lord with you, Amen. And that's what I'm talking about when you bring the needs to the house of prayer, because how does God work? Is through you and I. 
So when I'm going through something, she's going through something, man, we become sensitive to the Spirit. And then, you know, uh, you get interpretation and revelation and, and God is saying to you at that very moment, because this happened to me, go pray for that sister. Or, 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 or he gives you something to say and all of a sudden that sister sitting there or that brother and they realize, oh my God, you're talking about me. That's what I'm going through. And God works through the Word. Oh, I'm sorry, I get excited. God works through that Word. Amen. And what happens, you get enlightened. Amen. You get Amen. joy. You get peace. And you know that everything's going to be all right. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Come on, I'll Amen. keep going. I'll be like, preach. <laughs> you know, give me one more verse, Natasha. Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. And this is what I'm talking about. Again, I, I don't know how else to express this that we try and hear as we do, as, as God has an, uh, anointed us to, uh, all of us, to preach the gospel, mm -hmm. to remind those out there and to share the truth amen read me galatians chapter 6 verse 2 amen and the word reads and, it, and this is what i'm talking about my sister my brother that's what we love sharing the word carry each other's burden yes and in this way you will fulfill the law of christ mm -hmm. and then the amplified says carry one another's burdens in this way, you will fulfill the requirements of the law of Christ. That is the law of Christian love. Amen. So I got to love you, my sister, my brother. You got to love me. Amen. Amen. You know, we know the Bible said, forgive one another. And we all learn this in the house of God. That's why I said it's a joy. And we are blessed because God's house is always blessed when we when it's according to God's will and going with our with our minds open and our hearts to receive, to receive what he has the blessings and to honor and to glorify him and put ourselves aside as Christ put himself for you and me because we're still yes. sinners and I was sharing last Sunday that we're saved and and understanding that what uh, that the righteous what is righteousness we have been we had the righteousness of God and God forgives us because we're all sinners amen and we're under Christ Jesus righteousness amen that covers all our sins and still today and I think of that all the time Natasha and it just it just it just blesses me amen and how could you not come to the house how could you not put God first in your life. Amen. Remember, my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, you don't have to be uh, frightened or worried. You don't have to uh, fear life. Amen. As we go through hills, you know, and valleys in our lives. Amen. Just learn that God has a place of prayer and that he invites you, my sister and my brother, uh, to come to him. Amen. And, and that is so important. One more verse, I'm going to leave it there because I'm giving too much of my message. It's Philippians <laughs> chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Amen. And uh, I read it. It says simply this. Don't worry about anything, but pray. Amen. And ask God for everything. Amen. You need always give, you need always to what? To give thanks for what you have. I'm Amen. thankful. Amen. You know, I put a, a up there on our on 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 our face page. You know how you get those reminders that come. You know, memories, uh, memories, pictures you put up. And it was one of me when the the nurses were walking me in the hospital. Remember, I just got the liver transplant, and I don't forget. And that's just, that's why I said that we, you know, the Bible says renew your mind constantly. I've learned to renew my mind constantly, and also. Uh, uh, as as the Bible says, you know, uh, uh, to to remember, Amen. It says what? Don't worry about anything, but in prayer, ask God for everything, and always give thanks for what He's already done. And because He's done, I'm sitting here. And some of you can see some of the videos that I put up there. I looked frail and and going through so much, but my spirit stood intact. Why? Because I kept coming to the blessed house of the Lord. I kept 
not looking at my circumstances or what I was going through. Why I keep saying that? Because that's my testimony. Amen. And to be an example to you and to remind you, my sister and my brother, that God, man, we don't know the time or place. Amen. Yes. You know, you could be good one day. I was just telling Maria yeah. the next door. I was saying, Maria, you know, uh, and she read the thing. She said, oh, my God, Pastor, you look, you know, how you looked on that video, on, on that, you know, the doctor's walking you so frail and i said yeah you know and i remember that as i renew my mind as i renew my mind constantly to remember the thing that he's already done and the blessings that we have yeah, when yeah. we start thinking about that what he's already done in our life man it gives you a joy amen, amen. And, and, and a peace, peace. And a peace actually, that yeah. even when you i'm going still to, they're not to say that we're not going to go through valleys or things but we're not alone amen god is with you amen and and uh, like I said, in verse 7 says, And because you belong to Christ Jesus, amen, God, uh, peace will stand and guard over your thoughts and feelings, amen. His peace can do this far better than our human mind, amen, is being in His presence. I want to leave it there because I've given you too much, but I'm going to be sharing more on this. Amen. On to a tomorrow service. Amen. And I want to really want you to tune in because I want to stir your spirit and tune in and remind you that as we gather together seeking the Lord's face and to ask and to ask him to pour out his spirit upon you, my sister and my brother. And where do we get that man? It's in the house of God. Amen. And yes. we pray always that every video we do, we don't just want to come here to edify us we want to just talk about the lord and what he's done in our lives and and how we share uh uh god's love through this 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 ministry that god has called as many others out there amen a love wings ministry a full gospel tabernacle ministry all the ministry that god has called but the ministry what is ministry the people in there because we, if you define that word as we're ministering to God, but also God uses us to minister to one another. That's what it comes yes. down to. So my, I ask you, my brother, don't forsake the assembling of yourself. Get involved in the things of God. And that because God has said, man, put me first and see. Simply we say these things over and over, but... Think about what I'm saying to you, right? I pray that it is, is penetrating your heart right now and reminding you. I don't know what Amen. happened to this. Amen. It's, I remind you that 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 how important it is uh, to 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 be in God's presence. Amen. And and to do what God has called us all to do. Amen. Is to 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 love one another to encourage one another i keep saying that because man it's so important it is so important my brothers and sisters and we got to remember that so man when we pray for everyone right that has entered these doors amen that have come in into our lives as a family and also we pray for you my sister and my brother out there and you know what remember that god's house is a house of blessings. Amen. Always remember that. Let's put our thought, our stinking thinking, amen, amen yes. and all those things that <laughs> are slide, contrary yes. to that. So I hope that everything that we're saying today has blessed you today. And we all continue to share the gospel. Please pray for us and we continue to pray for you out there and, and, and to do what God has called us to do. And we want to keep our doors open, right, Nat? We want to yes. keep our covenant with God and putting Him first. And believe me, We've been through some hills and through some things, but we know that this house is blessed because it's, it's blessed by God. And as we come into that realm of uh, coming together, amen, as God uh, blesses us, man, and, 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 and this house, amen, and, and what he does for us, we're to do to each other, amen. So let us learn, as I, I, I wrote on that thing, let me, let me look at it again because I, I just want to remind myself, uh, uh, read it right, amen. Because that thought came into my heart, and I wanted to share that on that photograph. It's simply this, my brothers and sisters, that I uh, and I put that picture. Is this is not this would happen to me five years ago? For those that know me, the reason I put up this picture, my brothers and sisters, is to remind you how life can 
can be. We don't know the time or the place. So let us love one another and forgive one another and let us walk in the power of love, of yes. God's love. And that's what you call a blessed house. Amen. And God's house is blessed. And we pray and ask the Lord everything that we do, everything that we share here from this house, amen, is blessing you in your house, amen, and reminding you that, that, that as we continue to put God first, to remind you as we remind ourselves how important it is that we all continue to do this, amen, because that is God's law, amen. So I pray and I ask the Lord right now, Father, Lord, I thank you again as me and Natasha and Victoria are here, Lord, for this opportunity this Saturday, Father, Lord. Uh, we won't get this Saturday again, Father. This is today, amen. And we thank you for today. We thank you for this time to be able to share with our sisters and our brothers out there. Yes. Father, how important it is that we remember these principles, my God, that first we're to seek you kingdom first and that your house is already blessed and should be called a house of prayer as we pray, Father Lord, and, and, and thank you for what you've already done in our lives, Lord, and be there for one another as you instruct us to your word to carry each other's burdens, Lord, and pray for one another, encourage one another, lift one another up, Father Lord, for that is your will and that is your law, Father, that none should perish and that we all yes. come together as we worship you, Father Lord, and we love you, we're to love one another. Father, as we love God, we're to love God's children, Lord, as it says in your word, Lord. So again, uh, we're humbled by your presence, Lord, and your and your word, Lord, that continues to keep us and sustain us and help us as we go through life. Amen. And we thank you, Father, for what you've done today, Father. We thank you, Lord. And we know that what we share today, Father, that your word never goes void and it accomplishes what it's set out to do. So we thank you today and we pray for all our, those that are watching us, Father, and those that we've met, Lord, and those that have come here, Lord, and that our doors are open to everybody, Lord, Father, Lord. And that, Father, Lord, you continue to bless this house and continue to bless their home, Lord. Father, wherever they might be, Father, Lord, right now, Father, I pray blessings, Lord. You know the needs of all of us, my God, Lord. Father, but we thank you for what you've already done in our lives and in their lives, Lord, as we continue to seek after you, Father, Lord. Let us never forsake your promises and your word, Father, and your instructions and in how we're to do uh, our daily walk in our lives while we're here on this earth, Lord, to honor you, Father, Lord, and to bless you, Lord, and to bless one another, as you said, the love that you've given us to which to share with others. So we thank you today, Father. I pray for those that maybe their hearts have gotten hardened, Father, for whatever circumstances. Father, I pray, Father, that you touch them right now, Lord. I pray for those that may be holding bitterness inside of them right now. I pray, Father, and I bind that in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, of Nazareth, Lord, that they would release that to you, Lord, and to, Father, to, 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 to remember your word, to love and to forgive, Father, for we know if we don't forgive, Lord... Uh, uh, as your word said, you don't forgive us, Father. We don't want nothing, Father, to interrupt our relationship with you and with each other, Lord. Let us realize and have your heart and your mindset as we continue to study your word, as we continue to gather together in your house, Lord. Father, thanking you, Father, for what you're doing in our lives and you continue to do in our lives as we pray and, 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 and do as you instruct us, Lord, just to love. Amen to love. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 You want to add anything? To Amen. The, uh, and um, as we, we actually, you know, join us tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, our service is at uh, 11 o'clock mm -hmm. um, on, um, on, on Facebook. And if you're local to the area, um, the address is 5801 South U.S. Highway 1. That's in Fort Pierce. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, phone number is also on there, but it's 772-834-9634. We welcome you to come. Yes. And, um, and just be a part of, um, you know, and, and again, and, you know, coming into the holiday season. Yes. Um, also, yes. let us just, you know, um, remember one another and, 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 and gather and assemble um, with one another. Yes. And, um, you know, and just, you know, share God's love. 
um, because that's what it's about, um, having that relationship and being able to um, share with others and, yes. and, re and remember those um, out there that, you know, that may be um, um, going through, you know, difficulties or yes, whatever. Yes. You know, be there to uplift each other. Um, go take a meal. Go, you know, if they have kids, you know, um, you know, and, and, share and, the and, love. There's, and there's a lot of, um, you know, things going um, around now where, you know, we can, you know, donate and stuff like that. So let, let us remember one another and be there. Um, be about what Christ is about, which is love and, and, and sharing and, and being there for um, for one another. Amen. Um, and also, too, don't forget, man, whatever has happened, man, that was yesterday. Today's a new day. Forgive those. Amen. amen. Call them. Say it. Forgive me. Even if they were wrong or you were, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Remember, forgive and share the love. Amen. And when we do that, then we're really putting God first in our lives because it's not just, you know, speaking the word is living the word. Taking action, amen. I see uh, Jumping Joe. Amen. Amen. <laughs> In Jenkins, I think his last name is. Yeah, Jenkins, yeah, yeah. yeah, evangelist. Hey, my amen. brother. Amen. God bless, God bless you. God you. Bless amen. You. And all those that are watching us. Again, uh, our purpose is to remind you. And again, those that can come out, come out tomorrow Sunday. Amen. To Love Wings Ministry. We start at eleven. Amen. Our address is there on our website. Amen. Uh, you can't miss us. There's a big sign of cute, cute, <laughs> smart out there, and you'll see in the middle of the grass on US One. It is a Love Wing Ministry Studio. We're in that plaza. Come on in and join with us. Amen. Uh, uh, and, 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 and we would love to meet you or see you. And even those maybe that we haven't seen in a while. Come and visit. Amen. We love Amen. you. Amen. Amen. So again, from Pastor Benny and, and Pastor Natasha here from Love Wings Ministry Studios. Amen. Uh, uh, this new program that we're doing is Pastors at, at what is it? Pastors at the table amen god bless you and you'll be hearing from us again and amen. again i want to give a shout out uh to uh pastor jackson amen just call me before the program we love you my brother and i can't wait for yes. him to come and sit here with me and just share amen and anyone that's out there our doors are open amen you amen. could come and and we would love for you to sit here with us and share your testimony and or something that you're doing for the kingdom of god amen i want to say that again because you know, our, our, our doors and our venue here, what God has given us to do, we want to share it with others, amen, and, 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 and be able to encourage one another. So I ask any pastors, anyone that's out there that, that, that wants to share, man, contact us at lovewingsministry at gmail.com, or you can call us at 772-834-9634. I'm going to keep amen. reaching out, amen. <laughs> oh, I see... Uh, um, your cousin, or, or your cousin's daughter, I think, watching us. Amen. Amen. Smith. Amen. God bless you all. And again, from Pastor Benny and Natasha, we love you. And we just did what? We just beat up old snaggers. Amen. You have a blessed day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, if you can come out, come out. If not, tune in. Amen. And those that are coming out, we come in here at 11. We pray to 1130. Then we get into praise and worship, man. And we just, Amen. and then I got this word, God's house of blessings. I'm going to be sharing tomorrow. We just gave you a little taste from it. Okay. Amen. God Victoria, bless you. The, the thing that God don't forget. You. God Amen. Bless you. Enjoy and we're the rest looking, of and, and we're looking for those to get involved, man. Those that maybe you don't have a local church. Come join us, man. We need help. Amen. And, and if you can, just remember that we're here for you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>